To make wooden plugs, you're going to need a dowel a few millimeters larger than the plugs you plan on making. Take the plugs and trace the front and the back so that you know where to cut your dowel. Then use any kind of saw to cut out the pieces. You'll end up with something that looks like this. You'll see that a Dremel fits perfectly into the saddle of a plug. Simply take the Dremel and run it along the sides of the plugs until you create a groove. You'll want to stop periodically and measure both the flare and the saddle of the plug. Once it starts to look vaguely plug shaped, you can see here that I'm rotating the plug in my hand as I'm using the Dremel. This is going to ensure that it comes out looking like a circle and not like an octagon. Just measure again. Once you can get the plug about halfway into there, then it's time to start sanding. You don't want it to fit all the way in because sanding does take off quite a bit of material. Starting with a 120 grit piece of sandpaper, take off any, basically any huge imperfections, kind of finish rounding out the plug. You can see here that I'm doing the same thing that I was doing with the Dremel and rotating the plug in my hand as I'm sanding. Then I wrap the sandpaper around my finger to get into the saddle of the plug. And then use the edge of the sandpaper to sand the flares. I'm going to be using sandpapers ranging from 120 grit all the way up to 3000 grit. It's really important to sand both the flares and the saddle of the plug because that's what's going to be in contact with your skin and you definitely don't want ear splinters.
You can see how much material is actually coming off if you look closely above the sandpaper while I'm sanding. This is why it's important to leave a little bit of room. Once you've finished sanding your pieces, the next step would be to apply a stain or some kind of finish. I don't do that in this video, that's going to be in another video. But there are several, several, several videos on YouTube showing you how to stain wood. It's the exact same process, just make sure that the stain that you choose is safe for skin contact. I'd like to use cutting board sealant and stain. Um, some hardware stores have that. If you can find it, that's great. And here you can see me compare a plug that I bought to the wooden one that I just made. 